What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Guys, for those that do not know, we have a giant secret. And actually, no one knows, honestly. No one knows this secret. So we're gonna drop it somewhere in this video as we answer these questions. And by the way, I wanna be 100% real with you guys. Every time we film a sit down, I do indeed sit on a pillow. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna expose you myself like that because that that's like one of the things that like we're so, honest here. Social media is not real. Like, <laughs> see, that's why you have to. T I want to be completely transparent. Right, take the pillow away and see what happens. See, do <laughs> you see my point? So that's why you need to subscribe is because we're 100 percent real with you. I'm gonna put the pillow back because it's a little little sad for me. Honestly, I think we are like the exact same height, but my posture I think is just better. Yeah, see, I hunch over. And I should I wear one of those back braces? Cause I'm scared once I'm older. Anyways, let's get into the video, baby. Okay, so we're gonna do just kind of QA. I asked y'all my Instagram some questions, but we're gonna drop the secrets in the middle of the video. What do you guys think it is? Okay, you'll find out soon. Okay, first question. What do y'all plan to do if TikTok gets banned in the u.s cardboard oh. box <laughs> i'm just kidding just kidding see people think we're we're tiktokers but actually we we do instagram we do youtube we um we do a lot of different things so if tiktok were to go away make sure you guys are keeping up with us on other platforms because we're obviously here yeah. on other platforms it'll be okay we'll still be here it'll be sad because we have so many like good friends and community would, followers we, we would probably cry because it like it we definitely don't want it to go away but at the end of the day, it wouldn't be the end of the world. We're yeah. sure Jesus has a bigger plan yeah. for things, but financially, we would also be okay. Um, to put it in perspective, someone could take away all of our Instagram stuff, all of our TikTok stuff, and leave just our YouTube, and we would be okay. Or vice versa, take away YouTube and TikTok and leave Instagram, and we'd still be okay. So we don't have all of our cookies in one jar, so yeah. to speak, so we would be okay either way, but it would still be sad. I would be really sad because I love watch watching other people's TikTok, other people's TikToks, like, yeah, that's our job, but I'm I a real sky. The thing about if TikTok gets banned, another app is probably just gonna come right out, yeah. or like everyone's just gonna post all their stuff to like Instagram. The or people something. that own TikTok will, my projection sell is it. that they will sell it before it got banned. So yeah. you likely shouldn't have to worry about it getting yeah. banned, but we'll see. Okay, what are three things you wish you could have told yourself five years ago? Okay, rapid um, fire. I would say put Jesus above all things, everything else will fall into place. Did you not think that five years ago? No, okay. I did not. I wanted to do my own because it would have saved me a lot of hurt a lot of time a lot of heartache um i would say don't be anxious because even like like back then i dealt with a lot of anxiety like just from like what the world would think about me and all, stuff like that so don't be anxious just put your trust in jesus and then i would say you got this <laughs> like like just <laughs> pat on the back like bro you got this keep on doing you oh also once you get ripped don't get out of the gym <laughs> Because one time I got ripped, like absolutely shredded, and then I stopped working out, and now I'm where I'm at. So I'm like, dang. So yeah. Those are three interesting. Those are good. Yeah. So. Um. Okay. Mine. So like you said, like trust and stuff. The thing is, I always had my trust, like in Jesus, that things were gonna be okay. But I feel like there's always something in the back of my mind, like you know, like my main thing when I was little, like I was just cleaning out something, and I found this little prayer thing. Anytime, like I would write down a prayer or anything, it was like, bring me a husband. And I was like, I had trust that that was gonna happen, but you know, like the unknown, like you just like, okay, when's it gonna happen? Like I would always be like, can you just? You be, want it on your yeah, time. Even if I'm 40 years old, can Jesus just come here and tell me right now? It'll be this time. Yeah. You will have someone. And so I think like that caused me so much stress all the time. I wish I would have just chilled out and enjoyed like the time before you came into my life. And I did, but like, you know what I'm saying? I just wish I would have been so much more calm about that and known that it was going to come. And then like number two, that I was going to have babies and I don't know anything else. I'm with that with your, your first point because like as a man, and I feel like a lot of guys actually struggle with this is like the fear of not being able to provide. So mm -hmm. like, even though like we have everything, so to speak right now, I, in my mind, I'm like 10 years down the road, like, you know, what am I going to be able to provide for my family? Like don't stress. Yeah. Don't stress. If you really love someone, is it okay to marry young? I would say best piece of advice and biblical advice through prayer, wise counsel, and just alone time with God and just seeking out his kingdom and his righteousness first and having full confidence when you go to that, marry that person. I would say don't marry someone if you're experiencing, hey, like a lot of doubt or if all the Christian people in your life are saying, hey, this is not a good idea. 
idea. I do not see how both of you uh, glorify Christ more than you do by yourself. So I would say wise counsel, prayer, and just not really having having doubt in that decision. Yeah, I like right off the bat, I'm like, it's totally okay to marry young. Like personally, age is so silly to me. Like obviously you're not gonna get married at 13. <laughs> Back in the day, people kind of did. But like, it, yeah, it's based off like maturity and- that, That's why- oh, So many things, but age doesn't really matter. That's why I would say wise counsel, like the, the people that are Christians around you that know you, whether it's your parents or maybe your pastor or you know, whatever, those people know you best. So you need to listen to what they say. And that's why I said collectively, you may have one person out of the hundred that say, no, don't do that. But that's when you say, okay, but the other 99 are. So that's why you have to take it with a grain of salt and seek multiple um, sources. How old were we when we met? Uh, I was eight, had just turned 18. Like, like three weeks ago. Yeah, and Soph was 11. <laughs> I was, I was 16. She, it was a jump scare. And he she thought we were so far apart in age. What sport will you put Mary Red in first? We're gonna put her in that. Soccer. <laughs> we're gonna put her in She's back. gonna wanna play like some you don't type of active sport. First child always wanted to do that. That is how you know nothing about ballet because he just said ballet's not active. Do you know how hard that Honestly, is? Honestly, if I really wanted to go there, I don't even think it's a sport. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna start in ballet and then we'll let her choose what she wants. Have y'all ever regretted posting something on the internet? Not that I can recall. I put a lot of yeah. thought into my comments. I've typed comments before and then deleted them like without posting them because I felt like it didn't glorify like Christ. To a hate comment yeah, or yeah. So no, I would say there's nothing on the internet I would not there's nothing I've posted on the internet that I can think of that I would not stand behind. I think I agree. I don't think of anything that I regret posting at all. And we kind of go back and forth with each other like, hey, does this glorify Christ? Can this make someone stumble, etc." So I would say we kind of hold each other accountable to that as well. Yeah, and even if it's something that we got like a lot of hate for, I still don't feel like I regret posting it. It's just kind of like, like we still believe what we put, like we still- Yeah, would I go back, I and, go back and do it again? Eh, probably. I guess it just, yeah, it, it, <laughs> probably. it depends on Probably. the situation. No, I don't think I regret anything. Yeah, me either. Are you guys gonna use the same letter for all of your kids' names? No. no. We don't have the, I mean, they might have potentially yeah. an M or something, but no, that's, that's not, not the plan. plan. It's not the plan, not Stan. The plan. Okay, someone asked, are you ready? Okay, so we have been working on this for a few months now. Here's our secret, this is our secret. Do you think they're gonna be as excited as we are? I mean, I'm excited because it's crazy, but at the same time, you guys will also be excited if you love us. I think you'll be excited like, if you keep up with us and you know because our you situation. love seeing you lo love, us. love seeing the like progression of our life. So this yeah. is just another milestone uh, for us in yeah. this journey. So, anyways, are you ready? We are getting a house. Yay! Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. How many of them? Crazy. How many do you think thought I was pregnant? Probably all of them. You probably all thought I was pregnant. Probably I could be pregnant, it. but that's not our secret be, right now. Could it might be. be the next video or something. Yeah. But we are buying a house. So we already like have the house situation. Um, we're not gonna tell y'all the move-in date yet, but it's very soon. And, um, and for those that don't know, we have lived in an apartment since we got married. Yeah. I've lived in an apartment for what, five years? Oh yeah, you have. Uh, multiple apartments, constantly yeah. moving. And that's because of college and stuff like that. Like not really by choice, just also we've never been in the predicament where we could financially afford a house either and now we are so and if you've like lived in an apartment I mean maybe not everyone can agree but it's just like it gets like especially our apartment you have to walk down steps the signal down here is bad but just the steps in general and like not having a garage and things with groceries baby it's just gets really it, hard it's definitely good for a season yeah um, and for some people maybe that season is their whole life mm -hmm. um, like I know some of your family members are like, I wanna live in an apartment because I don't have to cut the grass, I don't have to do anything, that's amazing for them. Yeah. And for us, we just feel like the Lord is leading us somewhere else and opened a door so wide that we literally could not say and no. And we need space because we plan to have a big family and yep. stuff. So this house is very big, five bedrooms. Guess what else? Tell me. Has a pool. And a? I'm gonna be out there in my string bikini. <laughs> um, no, hot tub. Hot tub, 
pool. What else we got? We're gonna get a golf cart. A grill. It doesn't have a grill. What are you gonna do? Should we just tell them everything we're planning to get to put in the house? I'm gonna get a grill, pots and pans, um, <laughs> Oreos, Halo Top ice cream. We have a pantry. Y'all, it's so funny. Real quick, I don't wanna drag this out, but like, we are so excited about the simplest things because you just don't have it with an apartment. Like, what was something so little? Oh, I was like, we'll have a trash can that like we can put our trash in and the trash man is gonna come get it. Come get it. Like, cause we're used to having to like take our trash bag, walk upstairs, go to the dumpster, all that stuff. Not we. Taylor's <laughs> used to taking the trash. We'll have a mailbox. I'm like, what the heck? And these yep. are like normal things. So we are so excited. So stay tuned because we'll be doing a like house tour, moving in vlog, We're, decorating we're fixing a, a couple things up. We're getting um, paint done. So we're, we're gonna wait until then. We're gonna start the process and, and we're gonna film the whole process and stuff like that. So this is just another journey of our life that we are so thankful for social media and the opportunities we get to experience because, you know, say 15 years from now, Mary Marin or some of our other children can look back and be like, wow, mom and dad's first house and they, we may still be in the same house. So it'll be cool to see the progression. Yeah. Um, and even for us to look back and watch these videos. The only thing I'm sad about is that we brought her home here. It's not like we were gonna stay here forever, but it's like, ha, ah, we brought her home in this apartment. It's gonna be sad. And for those of you, we've always talked about how we were gonna build and buy land and stuff. That's still possibly gonna happen down 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 the road that that that's our long-term goal um, way down the road but yeah. again the lord has opened a door that's so wide that we can't say no at the moment yeah um so that's what we're going with and that's our big news that's our big secret so yay but anyways thank you guys for watching thank you for following our journey and just doing life with us we love you guys we love jesus don't forget to subscribe we'll catch you on the next video taylor and so out